Hi, I'm Noah, and I'm struggling with part cooling on my recently upgraded Ender 3. And today we're going to be improving it. Hopefully. So, before I went on my upgrading rampage back in September, my Ender 3 was fully stock. And honestly, it was perfectly fine. But in order to just stick it to that old adage of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, I decided to just upgrade it to make it a little bit better. I just couldn't help myself. And I did. The stepper motors are almost silent now. I can't imagine going back to before auto bed leveling. And Octoprint is just a dream to use. But the fancy new part cooler? Yeah, that just ain't working. See, I wanted to put a Hero Me cooling duct on the printer. And in my infinite genius, I decided that the perfect one was not the official Hero Me version 5, but one made by a third party, which claimed to support the existing fans for the Ender 3. Now I'm not trying to say anything bad about the people who made this fan shroud, but I really should have twigged. I mean, if this thing was going to support one piddly 4010 blower fan instead of the recommended dual 50mm blowers, then wouldn't the Hiromi team have made a model for that? Of course they would have! So with the new duct, I was having trouble printing overhangs. The parts were cooling like crazy and I was losing detail towards the tops of skinny parts. So recently, after a print failing four times, I took the Hiromi fan duct off and found the stock blower did indeed work better. Now I'm not going to get into the detailed objective review of the Hiromi fan duct versus the original Ender 3. It's pointless really, and I don't want to waste your time. I know that the Ender 3 one works better, and that's that. What I am going to do is print out a couple fan shrouds that'll fit the stock fan mount for the Ender 3, and see if there's any improvement I can make without buying new fans. For this test, I'm going to be using the following fan duct. Contender 1, the Ender 3 Part Fan Duct Ring by Prima. I chose this one as it looked like it might cool evenly all round. However, I have my doubts that this fan is going to be powerful enough to generate pressure through all the openings. Contender 2, the Mistral E Filament Cooling Duct by Leo N. This one's 180 degree design and lack of sharp corners for air to pass through made it seem like a top contender to me. Contender 3. The CR10 Airflow Optimization Fan Mod by Gabriel 3D Caster. This one printed with a very thin base, only one layer thick, and it seemed kind of porous to me. I have to say, I think this will reduce its viability, as there's probably going to be some air leaking out through the bottom. Contender 4. The Creality Ender 3 Fan Duct by Submano. I don't like the look of this one. It looks awfully similar to the Hero Me duct that just wasn't able to be powered by a small fan and its tight corners and small ducts kind of worry me. Finally, Contender 5, the Ender 3 Custom Cooling Fan Duct by Varensilator. This one cools front and back instead of left and right, which seems really smart to me, as both are equidistant from the fan. Therefore, it shouldn't be uneven, although I guess we'll find out. I made this cooling torture test. There's a gap on the bottom to test basic bridging. It's a small one, but it should make any large flaws immediately noticeable. And it has these four branching spires which angle to 90 degrees, and I think this should be able to weed out any inferior coolers. But first things first, I did a control. Blah blah, scientific method and all that. For this, I kept the stock Ender 3 fan duct on, and it turned out alright. The tall text is a little mushy, but it goes evenly all the way up. The bridging on the underside is acceptable. Don't mind that text from the top, that's just from Cura's ironing setting which I accidentally left on for all of these models. Oops. This one has some pretty aggressive stringing on it, and the tips of the points are very mushy. Overall though, I'd say it's fairly well done, and I give it a 5 out of 10. Next, the ring duct. This one's bridging performance is noticeably worse. It has worse stringing and the same mushy tips. I give it a 3.5. The Mistral E. Stringing is a little better here, although still not great. Bridging performance was on par with stock, Tips are still a little mushy, but the best so far, and it managed just fine up to the very, very top. But where this one really shined was the tall text. With barely any variance in the layers, this was near perfect. I give this one a 7 out of 10. Next, the CR10 duct. The CR10 actually has the same hot end cooler as the Ender 3, so these are cross compatible. It fared about the same as stock, awful stringing, and slightly less mushy tips. So I'm giving it a 5.5. Slightly better, but not good. Next, Submano's Ender 3 fan duct. 
Now, I said earlier that I didn't have high hopes here, and it looks like I was right. The bridging performance was unacceptable. The letters were muddier than usual, string is really bad, and the tips are mushy. I'm giving this one a three. And our final contender, the custom cooling fan duct. This one did very well. I was unable to separate it from the Mistral E, so I'll put them in joint first place. Seven out of 10. Something that is noteworthy on this guy is it had some issues printing itself, and it has a crack on the top from where the filament failed to be supported by a bridge. Maybe some struts inside it would help in future. So that's it. But is it? None of them failed. They all did very similarly. So I decided to do what scientists call a negative control. Uh, something that should fail if your experiment is designed correctly. I removed the cooling duct entirely leaving the part cooling fan blowing directly downwards, blowing no air on the freshly printed part. And the result was... Really? I mean, it's pretty bad, but it didn't fail. Why? Well, I have a hypothesis. I think this is down to the open design of the stock hot end cooler. The hot end fan is exhausting air downwards onto the printing part below. And this was blocked off on the Hero Me remix. So, I guess I'll have to reinstall the Hero Me and test this theory. And here's the result. It's got these weird bumpy corners everywhere that most other ducts managed to avoid. However, its overhang was good, but its tips were sagging and falling apart. I think this one is definitely the worst of the bunch. So here are my final results, if you wanted to see the scores again. For my own use, I think I'll stick with the Mistral E. Its sole design and functionality really won me over. And it looks like I might have been somewhat right when it comes to the reason that the Hero Me failed. But if you want to use a Hero Me, I've heard great things about them. Just don't make the same mistake I did and use the proper fans. If you like this video, check out my other 3D printing videos. And maybe consider subscribing if you want to. Anyways, have a good day and thanks so much for watching.